Hi, I'm Jane Della, the clairvoyant medium part of psych Adventure Mean Psychics. Yes, Hattie and I do all kinds of readings and all kinds of things, and you guys are all familiar with it. But now we decided to go down a little, little avenue because there's so much stress and anxiety in the world. And we're going to do a new series called Health, Wellness, and a Sanity Check. And I need to put a disclaimer out right now. Hattie and I are not medical people. We're not doctors. We're not psychiatrists. We're not nurses. You know, the best thing you need to do is put a Band-Aid on a knee if you get a boo-boo. That's my medical training right there. <laughs> but we have tools in our virtual toolbox that we use to keep ourselves calm, sane, and we're going to do a series on these. So if you have any suggestions on things you want to know about, or that we can do another, we can do another video on. We have a couple already planned out, but we can always add more. And Heidi knows I love my research, so we will we will figure out, we will pick one or two, or, or if it speaks to us, and we will do something on it. So right now I want to talk about fears and anxiety. I had a lot of sleepless nights, tossing and turning, worrying, you know, not sharing with anybody. And so then what I did, I started. I said, I'm a smart girl. I got to take control of this. I got to figure this out so I can get a good night's sleep. So I took my little, I started out with one of these. Just a steno pad. And I wrote down what my fear was. Heidi and I have made this great worksheet and we're going to share a link to it. And in the first comment says your fear. And one of my fears, I have, I have many, believe me. One of my fears was food insecurity. And so that's what I wrote in that comment. And the next thing was, why do I fear this? Well, I'm a nurturer, and I, my fear in this was that I couldn't take care of my family, and I needed to. So then the next column, we have, how do I take back control? And my thing was, I talked to my husband, and we talked about things, and I thought, I'll plant a garden. But then I realized, that where, how do I live? Our growing season is very short. So once again, back to my research, YouTube videos, and all this stuff, I figured, I'll plant a container garden. So I can grow them out in the summer, and not to knock plants, but they're not that bright. And when, if, I, if I bring them in the fall, they're still going to take a summer, they're still going to grow, they're still going to hopefully produce. And if not, I can add more seeds. And let me tell you a funny story about seeds. I swear everyone in the United States is growing tomatoes. I couldn't find a tomato plant, a pack of tomato seeds at all. And then once again, back to YouTube, great old YouTube. I watched a video and a woman held up a pack of seeds and said, I found some seeds at the dollar store. My husband and I ran out with two different dollar stores. And the last one in the clearance bin, there was one pack of seeds. And so I took it and I went to the register and kind of find out I paid 25 cents for that one pack of tomato seeds. And it's planted outside and it's growing beautiful. And I will do a video later on about my little container garden with my herbs and my vegetables. But that's just it. Once, 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 you, once you have a fear and you, and, and you give it a name, identify why you're afraid of it, and give yourself something to do about it, you take, you take that control and, and then I could sleep again. And this, in some of the research I did, there was some great little books. Um, they're from Backwoods Home Magazine. We, we're, we get nothing from them. We do nothing. I just think they're great books. They were like $9 a piece or something. One is food storage, because I didn't want to kill my family with botulism or anything, so I needed to kind of put it away. That wouldn't be good. I wouldn't have a worry either, would I? Because they have something to worry about. The other one was self-reliance. And it just gives you some little recipes and stuff that you can do. And I, and how you can cook on a camping stove and stuff. And Heidi gave me one, so we, we all help each other out. But I'm going to hand you over to Heidi right now, and she's going to tell you how to keep things positive, upbeat, and how you need to take care of yourself. She's also going to explain the kiss method. And that doesn't mean running around kissing people like a, like a fool, but I passed with Heidi, and she will, she will talk to you about it. Hi, everyone. I love Jane and her stories. She has great positive vibes. No matter what the situation is, Jane and I will always find something to help ourselves to produce a positive result. Not everything is easy in producing a positive result, but this is what helps us get those endorphins out to say, okay, we have a problem. It's not going to be easy to solve, but what's the first step? So when Jane mentions to you that, um, why do I fear something? You really sometimes just have to dig deep and say, okay. Thing is, I'm not going to, you know, I, one of my biggest fears is figuring out the technical issues, being able to put out the videos, how to do an editing. Okay. Nobody wants to make a mistake and put it out on the, on the, on the web by accident. Hello, done that, but it happens. So how do I do better? 
So Jane has inspired me to, you know, step by step, one step at a time, get to the library, use their computer if you don't have a computer at home, acknowledge that you need help. Sometimes just putting an anxiety off of your plate is admitting to yourself, I need help. So go to your community, go to your church, go to your place of worship that helps you. Your friends are out there. There's people online that you can just simply ask a question. And believe me, you're going to get so many answers to uh, a fear that you might have that might be overwhelming you. And they've got a solution. They've got a, a path. So you just have to choose one that's going to work for you. You also have to remember that you're not able to solve everyone's problems that are out there. You can't do the journey for them, but you can be a supporter. You, just like they can't do the journey for you, but they can support you. So what you really need to do, and it's hard, figure out what it is that you don't have control of. You don't have physical control of that you can put point A and point B. That's what you need to do. Once you eliminate that, your body's stress kind of relaxes and eliminates itself. So now, okay, what else can I do? Take it one step at a time. And that's why Jane said the KISS program. Heidi works with the KISS program, which is keep it simple, stupid. Don't make anything harder than it needs to be. Write things down, journal it. And then once you see it in front of you, let's figure out how we can help each other. It sounds like it's too good to be true, but it's not. It's just a matter of empowering yourself to do it. That's why you need to get on board with a community, with family, with friends, with people on YouTube, people on um, Facebook, any social media you have, even if they're complete strangers, Put something out there, something's going to come back at you that's going to be positive. You just have to remember that all of you matter. You matter to yourselves. And that's um, Jane and my goal. If you have questions or concerns, send us an email. Info at adventuringpsychics.com. There, you know, no question is too hard for us to try to figure out with you that we have our own uh, tools that we bring out and help people with. There's no reason why we are not able to help you. We also want the feedback. Tell us what it is that we can help you with, or you solved a situation. This is what you did so that we can bring it out to the rest of the community to give them a hand. And that's really the most important thing that we ask everybody to do is be kind, give everyone a hand, and then be kind to yourself and know that you're, you're worth it. And that if anybody can help you, just ask. That's all we really want you to do is just ask. Everybody will be there. And that's what the KISS program, keep it simple, stupid. Jane? Um, I, just want, I just wanted to say that um, Heidi and I do this thing called coffee and questions. We do it once every couple months. Um, a long time ago, we did our first one. Someone asked me about the food situation. And I said, I think the only thing I could feel or pick up my spirit guides was they were putting cans away in a cupboard. And I said, I think everyone just needs to go out and get a couple of cans of soup or whatever and put them away. And do I, and people are going to be asking me, do I think there's going to be a food shortage? No, I don't think there's going to be a food shortage. I think we're just going to be priced out. So where you could buy six or eight cans of soup at one time, now you might be able to buy two or one. But just remember, if you, if you buy a little extra time you go shopping and you put it away in the cupboard, you can, when the prices go high, you can say, oh, I'm good. I have some more of that in my cupboard. I'll just add this one can to it. And it's that easy. And if you want to know about our coffee and questions or any of our other videos, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button. On um, the coffee and questions, they're on usually on the videos on the Sunday afternoons. They're really fun. You come in your comfies, your sweats, your pajamas, your hair and curls. We don't care. You just bring your coffee and we chat. You can ask me questions. You can ask Heidi questions because Heidi does the dream interpretations and the crystal profiling and she does amazing things with herbs. She's wonderful. So, right back you know, at you, Jane. <laughs> and if you email us with a question or a concern, we might not be able to answer it. But I love research, so I can might we will probably be able to point you in the right direction where to go to get your answer. We don't guarantee answers, but we do guarantee support, participation, and maybe trying to head you in a direction. 
No guarantees it might be the right direction, but we're willing to try. Exactly. And the fact that you're willing to reach out, you got to pat yourself on the back for, for helping yourself feel good. And that also eliminates some anxiety and stresses. So we are here, everyone. Info at adventuringpsychics.com. Shoot us a line. Don't forget, as Jane said, like, share, subscribe. We are here for you. Yes. Thank you, everybody, and have a blessed day. All right. Take it easy, everyone. We shall talk soon. Bye-bye.